Hello Warframe, this is Jane's videos, and this is day 9, I believe, of the Nightmare House 2021 The Mortem Manor Haunt Build videos. Now today's video is going to be fairly short, but I wanted to make it anyways because I haven't made a Haunt Build video in a few days. And uh, I worked on something today that I'm really, really happy that I was able to work on. It's not done because I'm going to have my dad cut windows in this. The only reason I'm not going to cut windows is because I'm not very good with cutting straight lines with a saw. So he needs to cut windows. He's going to do that in a little bit. There's going to be a window there and a window there. But this is the facade to the haunt. And it's all right. I, I mean, I, I like it. It's not amazing, but I think the haunt itself matters more than the facade. If I had more time to make a more elaborate facade, I would, but I'm still pretty happy with how the facade looks. It's about, I'd say, 12 or 13 feet tall, so it's pretty large, and it's got these. I use these for it to make it a lot more secure. These are fiberboard, I think they're called, but they're wood, and they are very very heavy and so they're not flimsy like these ones because if I would have used these ones even if I support them up they would bend at the top and that would be a big problem these ones are so sturdy that that doesn't happen now I'm gonna show you the front again before I show you exactly how this is held up but as you can see that's the top floor and the roof of the mansion now there are windows there and they have black behind them so you can't see back there these windows are gonna have actual curtains the ones that are here which hopefully should look pretty cool but there's the roof. I have purple lights on it, though it looks kind of blue on camera. It's purple. I don't know if I'm going to keep these lights because I've, I've tested a few different things. I've tested blue. I've tested blue and white. I've tested, like, different color combinations. The purple is what I'm liking the most right now, but I might change it. I, I don't know because I don't... I usually don't like my lights being one solid color. I like combining colors. However, I think uh, the purple does get the job done, and it looks very mansion-like and fits the vibe of the haunt pretty well, that I might keep it. Now, that top here was actually cut and traced by my mother because, like I said, I'm not good with cutting <laughs> the saw properly, but I told her exactly how to do it, so she just cut it how I wanted it. And then I painted it, which the painting isn't the best, but it works. With the little time I have, it's very hard to make it super elaborate because Halloween is on Sunday, and I'm still not finished with the actual interior of the haunt. But I still wanted to get the facade done so I don't have to worry about it anymore, and it's almost done, luckily. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Now how I held these up, because I didn't know how I was going to do this, I would have done support like this for the interior walls if I had room in there, because it works so much better than anything else, but I didn't have room in there to do that. But it's basically just your normal support beams that you'd see for facades, and usually these are the types of support beams you'd see for the actual haunt walls, but like I said, I didn't have enough room in there to do that. But it's like... It's beams coming out from the back, and then there's a beam coming out there, and then there's another beam coming up there for some more support, and it works perfectly. I mean, you just screw it all together, you screw it there, you screw it there, screw it there, and uh, it's a very, very simple process, and it keeps the walls up perfectly fine. And so I'm very happy that I was able to get that done. This is my first time doing a support like this, because it's the first time I needed to do a support like this, but I will definitely do it... Um, probably for all the rest of my facades. I actually will probably just keep these how they are after Halloween and then just repaint them each year uh, because these are perfect facade walls. I mean, they're they're sturdy, they're, um, they've got the support already, and uh, they work well. I also have a beam going across there, and I have a little piece of wood here because originally, and this is painted too on the front, but originally there's going to be a little um, part that comes down and then the roof was going to be on top of that so the roof is even higher up however the issue with that is that the roof would be too high up that the when the wind hits it it would probably snap or fall off or whatever and it probably wouldn't have been as secure because the way that it's secure is that there's a wooden beam right there and then the roof has a wooden beam on the back of it let me shine a light on this so you can see this better the roof has a wooden beam on the back of it and uh, it connects there and that fabrics just so you can't see that there's beams behind the windows from the front so the back isn't really disguised or anything but that's not a big deal because facades usually aren't it's just the facade it sticks out quite a bit from the garage but that doesn't really matter because when people walk through it the facade is basically there just so to paint the picture that you're going into a mansion when you're entering the haunt uh, and then when people walk through it obviously there's going to be walls there which I've shown you before how those are gonna be but people are gonna walk through it they're just gonna be looking straight anyways they're not gonna really look behind them 
be like, oh, well, you can see that. No. <laughs> I don't think facades really need something to cover up the back. I mean, it's great to have something, but they don't really need it because, I mean, they're usually fine without. Um, but let me show you the other few things that have been done. This candle is in this candle holder now. So I finally have a candle for that. This might be my fireplace mantle, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Now, this is something I'm happy that I was able to get done because this is... Um, it makes it look a lot better. I got the curtain hung up there, so when you're walking down the hall, obviously you can tell it's a curtain with the lights on. But when the lights are off, it just looks like another part of the blackness. Um, the curtain's there, and so you're walking. when you're walking down the hall, you can't see those boxes anymore, which is great, of course. I don't think I showed this yet, but it's a new candle here in the place of this, So, because there was a real candle here before, but obviously I couldn't light that in the hot. But it's another one of the flickering ones. And my grandma actually brought this for me, so uh, I didn't even have to buy it. You can't really see it there, because I have the camera brightness up too much, and I don't really feel like adjusting it again and again right now. Um, but also I got a curtain up here to block this area finally where all these boxes were. A curtain's here because this is access to the power source and so it needs to be a curtain. There's a few more books on the shelves and stuff. And also, last but not least, I want to show this because this is something I got for like three dollars. Um, it's a new antique chair because my other one is way too big to actually put in the haunt because it's just so massive and there's no space for it. So I got a new one. And I actually kind of like this one better. This is probably not where it's going to go. It's just there for now. But I have a new antique chair. Now, the last thing that's going to be done in today's build video is getting those windows in the mansion facade. And then putting the curtains up. So when I skip, you'll see that. So the, today was mostly just working on this facade. Nothing else. Just working on this facade is what was done today. But uh, I'm glad that it's nearly done. And I'm glad that it's going to be finished today. It's literally getting finished in one day. I mean, great. I did paint these boards yesterday, but I put the entire thing up today. Actually, no, I did a support beam on that one yesterday. But other than that, I put the entire thing up today, which I'm pretty happy with. It only took a, about an hour and a half, to be honest. It wasn't that bad. I just didn't start super early, which is why it's nighttime already. And I finished this during the day, but I didn't start the build video until now. However, um, there you go. You have the facade almost completed, which I'm happy about. That's a big worry off my chest because that was something I was really concerned about. Next thing I'm going to do after this facade, which is probably tomorrow, I'm going to get the crypt. I'm going to try to get the crypt up and um, we'll go from there. There's not very much left to do for the haunt, to be honest, when you think about it. I mean, granted, the cemetery is kind of looking very barren right now, but that's simply because there still needs to be tombstones put in it, as well as props and tombstones that can get ruined that I can't put out yet because we are having a cold front come through on Thursday, which is going to bring cold weather on Halloween, which is perfect. However, that means it's going to rain, so I can't put any of the animatronics out until after Thursday, which is the only reason that the cemetery is looking kind of barren, because the stuff that can get ruined can't go out there yet. Yet. But it's it's getting there, and I am pretty certain I'm going to get this on done in time for Halloween. I haven't I have adjusted the dates. I'm only doing it on Halloween now, just to give myself some extra time to make the haunt as great as possible. But we'll see how it goes, and I'm sure I'll still get tons of guests. So I'm still looking forward to it. So that is actually all that's going to be done today. There's not going to be any windows carved today, but that is all right. That'll be done tomorrow. Uh, there's other stuff I want to do tomorrow, like I already mentioned, the crypt, stuff like that. The haunt is coming to a close on the builds, which is good, um, and I cannot wait to get this haunt up and running on Halloween. I hope you all enjoyed this haunt build video. Keep out and get the moon, my werewolf.